Hi everyone, we're going to show you how to make uh, sag paneer, spinach with cheese. Now we have some mustard oil here, you can use vegetable oil. We have already pre-cooked spinach because we're in a restaurant trade, we already cook it. Uh, we pre-cook it with onions and um, garlic and all the other spices there. And obviously you can get this, you can use I don't recommend you to use fresh spinach, but you can get in a supermarket. You can find them in a frozen bag, or you can buy them in a small um, spinach comes in the jar of tins. Yeah, tins. You can use that. And nicely chopped small pieces of paneer here. Um, there we go. We got some chopped onions here, and a bit of the salt right so you've got salt chopped a bit of onion some pieces of uh, chopped paneer that's the homemade Indian cheese obviously you can buy them in the supermarket any supermarket Asian food store whatever there you go and the spinach obviously you've got the the cooking oil here and you need some some bit of single cream there we are Okay, now our chef is going to demonstrate how to make sag paneer, spinach with cheese. Here we are. First of all, this is, is you just put one large tablespoon of oil in, right? It's same as the frying pan. There we are. There you go, stuffing a bit of onion in there. Can you hear the sizzling going on? Nice and easy. So this recipe is for all my vegetarian friends out there. It's gonna toss a bit of, just a slightly touch of a little salt. You know, they don't have to put on tablespoon. Just a touch, use your, use your spoon, dip it in the salt and just the amount sticks to the to the spoon. You can just put it there. Right. So the next thing he's going to do is going to top the sag in. There you are. Put the sag in. The spinach in. There you are. There we go. And the next ingredients is goes in is the the paneer. It's gonna put a. You can, you can use a bit of stock, but we're gonna put some. We we've got pre-made onion gravy. You can always use some sort of homemade stock. A little bit of stock will go in there. Now it's going to tip a bit of just a, a tablespoon of large tablespoon of single cream in there. stir it for about two to three minutes let the all the ingredients mix together 